Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. We haven't had it all day. We're all about community here on Coastal Living. We love highlighting organizations like Agape Ranch. Please welcome Ms. Shannon Murphy here to tell us about a gala, gala, whichever you prefer to say. But it's something you want to attend because it's for a great cause. Thank you for joining yes, us today. Thank you so much. So, so Agape, Agape Ranch, Ranch, as some people may not know, we've been serving the Coastal Bend um, foster families and foster children since 2014. Uh -huh. And so for the past four years, we've been having a fundraiser gala. I say gala. Okay. Um, gala. And it's called the Legacy Gala, a starry evening, and it's presented Ooh. by Chick-fil-A of the Coastal Bend this year. Very so cool. it's our main fundraiser to help us build literally a neighborhood for foster families and foster kids to live together. Awesome. So we'll get into the details about the gala in a little bit, but tell me the details about what this neighborhood program is. Absolutely. So we have 11 acres that were donated mm -hmm. out in the London School District area. Wow. And uh, the idea is to have up to 24 homes where foster families, foster kids, and youth that age out of the foster care system will live together and receive a variety of services. So mm -hmm. we don't want people to think that... Um, it's just a neighborhood where they're gonna to live together. There are gonna to be lots of services such as mentoring and emotional support, tutoring, counseling, and therapeutic services. We also are gonna have respite care providers that will live on site. And I think uh, some people don't know that foster families can't just have anybody babysit foster children. Yes. You have to have a certified, certified respite care provider. Yeah. So having some living in the neighborhood will be a huge support for these foster parents that might need a break. Yes, and for anyone who's still unsure about respite care, it is you, I was enlightened by this probably about a year ago, and I feel so cool because I know what it means now. <laughs> but it doesn't take too much training for you to become certified as a respite care person, right? So in that case, then you can be qualified to help. So if you're not in a position to foster, maybe you don't have a lot of money to donate, but you can donate your time. And the same way if you're a parent that you know you could use some help just to get out and breathe every once in a while, the same goes for these foster parents, especially when they have an abundance of children that they're trying to help out, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There's, it's hard work. I mean, being a parent is hard work anyway, yeah. but when you're fostering kids that have um, some trauma possibly, mm -hmm. Just having that break is, cru is crucial. Definitely, yes. and you mentioned the trauma, and that's why I love that you're providing all these extra services because it isn't just about having a safe space to exist, to live in, but it's about having that emotional support, psychological support, and that sense of community with people that you can relate to, which I think is really special and unique about having the neighborhood. Yes, it is, and so our goal is we have the first home already um, constructed on the ranch, mm -hmm. and uh, we fundraise for houses two and three, but with the rise of construction costs, some of that money is not enough anymore. Yeah. So we're gonna continue fundraising until we can get all of those 24 homes built and uh, available for foster families and foster kids. And one of the things I wanted to mention that's um, really important is a lot of foster sibling groups get separated mm -hmm. because they don't have enough space to live in a home together. Yeah. So with this neighborhood, even if they're not in that same house together, their brother or sister might be across the street or maybe a few houses down. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna make me cry. Let's yeah. go over the details for yes, you because yes. tables are limited, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, tables are limited. If you are interested in sponsoring a table or buying tickets, please don't wait. We sold out last year. Mm -hmm. We are expecting to sell out again. Um, the deadline to sponsor tables is actually this Monday. Okay. And Thank again, you, it's, yeah, again, it's the Legacy Gala, A Starry Evening, presented by Chick-fil-A of the Coastal Bend. Chick-fil-A has been our sponsor for the, our presenting sponsor for the past three years, so we're very grateful for their continued support. Fantastic. And it's at the American Bank Center on September 24th. We have a fun silent auction. If you are a business and want to donate something for a silent auction, I will definitely accept those, and we have volunteers that can pick up. We have a dinner, and uh, we actually have music by singer-songwriter Kyle Hutton this year. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing all thank those you. details. Support Agape Ranch. We'll be back with more on Coastal Living. Thank